Good evening guys tonight. I am taking you to a couple of very interesting bars here in downtown Oranjestad here on the island of Aruba. Let's check them out. This neat part of town is situated just behind the courthouse. I love how they have remodeled these old houses and buildings, but before me and Marlene make our first stop, we decided to pass through the bar situated next door. So we are here at the Flor de Oriente, which is this one, and we just walked through this other one, the hard grooves uh, at the Blau Estate, I do believe they are calling it, uh, like the street that you saw previously. We're going to have a drink, but also have something to eat here at Flor de Oriente, which you can do also, and then we'll head to the next ones. Now sometimes they have like a band playing here, but uh, tonight they have like the, you can see the menu of uh, all of the food you can buy with the prices, so that's very convenient for you guys to see. So on this side you can see part of the history of this bar, it's a pretty old bar. And yeah, it's been in business for decades and decades and it changed uh, ownership a few years ago and it's mostly like Dutch platters here one tip should you decide to visit is to head inside and check out the different antique items they have So I think he's the original owner. So they kept a photo of him here. That's that's very nice. The bar area is a bit small, but there are plenty of tables outside. Marlene decided to go for a Leffe Blonde, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put it here for her. Uh oh. <laughs> So the Leffe is, Lecker. if you're not familiar with it, it's a Belgian beer and it's, uh, yeah, it's really good. I uh, drink it also, but uh, not going to be drinking too much tonight, but we will be checking out a few of these drinks. So we ordered a Capsalon, which is a very typical Dutch treat, right? <laughs> it sure is. and. It's got, it's mainly like uh, French potatoes and what else do we have on it? Any idea? I think it's like meat, shawarma or chicken. Shawarma like, okay. Maybe uh, chicken Holland, sometimes? Yeah, I think. And in cheese Holland, of course on top of it, right? And salad. Some salad. That's We're gonna dig in. Enough talking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's good. It's really good. I gotta admit, I'm not usually very a big fan of the Capsalon. This one is really good, I'm surprised. This one is good. So you go for it now. Mm. Of me? This is cool. Real lekker. We also decided to have a Dame Blanche, and, or at least I am, and Marlene's having a brownie. Ladies first, so let's go. <laughs> it's horrible, huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's really good. It's delicious. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're gonna continue enjoying this one and we'll head next to 
Another bar. <laughs> Our next stop is a bar that is situated just next to the main street or also across the Zara clothing store. The Apotheque is a speakeasy bar which basically means that it is behind closed doors and reservations are recommended. The concept of this one is very unique where you are supposedly in a pharmacy or drugstore after visiting your doctor for your prescription. They are specialized in making craft remedy cocktails while giving you a show in the process. In my case, I got a secret prescription from my doctor. While the bar is small, I must say this might be one of the best ones on the entire island. Consider a visit during your next trip to Aruba. Our last stop for the night takes us to the Renaissance Marketplace, but more specifically the Kalin's Mexican Bar and Restaurant. Worth noting is that Kalin's is one of my favorite restaurants on the island, but tonight we are here to have some drinks. It's a good thing we are keeping this vlog to only 3 bars, just saying. Of course, the drinks will not taste the same without wearing these cool Mexican sombreros. Guys, we are now heading home for some good rest. Thank you for watching and remember to like, subscribe, share and comment below. 
Let me know which bar you will be visiting during your trip. See you next time.